Background of the study, essay example, 1084 words. This essay has been submitted by a student. This is not an example of the work written by professional essay writers. Professionals in writing essays and all other types of written work are adidapaper.com, link under the video. Today's world is a global village. Everyone is connected to one another in this vast network generated by the Internet. As said by Marshall McLuhan, a philosopher of communication theory, the new electronic independence recreates the world in the image of a global village. This electronic independence is inherently dependent upon the Internet. It illuminates the lives of thousands of people by spreading knowledge internationally, thereby making us global citizens. The new world of social networking allows free sharing of thoughts. Online social networks are created by websites such as Facebook, which has emerged as a giant in this social world. So how do these networks affect our education? How do they influence the lives of students? As of 2015 the world's largest social networking company, Facebook, has 1.49 billion active users, and the number of users is increasing every year. One of the most interesting things to look at is the increasing number of student users on such social networking sites. As per the survey conducted by Pew Research Center, 72% of high school and 78% of college students spend time on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. These numbers indicate how much the student community is involved in this virtual world of social networking. Actually, many reasons exist that explain why students love to spend time socializing. Firstly, social networks provide them the freedom to do whatever they want to upload what they want and talk to whom they want. They like to make new friends and comment on the lives of different people. Students can create other online identities that the real world does this not allow. The freedom it gives them to act just by sitting in front of a computer enthralls them, and they then demand more freedom. Never before has it been so easy for young minds to create a digital image of their actions through such a spontaneous medium. But this has a darker side that has gained the attention of many parents, and even eminent psychologists, all over the world. One of the biggest problems is the identity crisis constant social networking produces. As said by Professor S. Shalm Sunder, a renowned researcher at Penn State, the types of actions users take and the kinds of information they are adding to their profiles are a reflection of their identities. Many psychologists are worried about the identity crisis that our present generation may face today. The lives of people, especially students, are largely influenced by what is posted by other people on their profiles. The habits that students learn are decided more by what their friends do and less by the teachings of parents or professors. Students have become prone to frequent fluctuations in mood and self-control. If one of a student's friends posted about his or her present relationship with someone, then other friends are pressed to do the same thing. Actions that attract more public attention hold more value, even despite some of them being immoral or illegal. We even see that many students are worried about their looks and so they always try to upload nicer pictures than their friends. A recent survey has stated that whenever someone uploads a profile picture, it immediately affects the moods of friends. It often produces stress, anxiety or fear about their identities as people. Consistently thinking in this way can sometimes lead to depression. The most important things in a student's life are studying, learning good habits and gaining knowledge to become a person with moral character. But today, as we see in various studies, this optimal learning process is seriously jeopardized by students becoming entrapped by the ploys of social networking. Students neglect their studies by spending time on social networking websites rather than studying or interacting with people in person. Actively and frequently participating in social networking can negatively affect their grades or hamper their journeys to their future careers. Getting too involved in social media can lead to an addiction that inculcates bad habits. Students prefer to chat with friends for hours, and this leads to a waste of time that could have been used for studying, playing or learning new skills. It is often said that a long-term friendship or relationship is developed when people meet each other, spend time and share their experiences. But this virtual way of communicating with each other does not lead to a natural, friendly experience and hence cannot produce a healthy relationship with those friends. Also, these relationships tend to terminate easily due to a lack of personal contact. The system generates a competition to make as many new friends as possible and the so-called social quotient of a person is decided by how many friends they have and not on how good-natured and congenial the person really is. Often, 
students who are not old enough to accurately analyze the world like or comment on social or political issues, and this leads sometimes to serious controversies. Using social media websites is among the most common activity of today's children and adolescents. Any website that allows social interaction is considered a social media site, including social networking sites such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and blogs. Such sites offer today's youth a portal for entertainment and communication and have grown exponentially in recent years. For this reason, it is important that parents become aware of the nature of social media sites, given that not all of them are healthy environments for children and adolescents. Pediatricians are in a unique position to help families understand these sites and to encourage healthy use and urge parents to monitor for potential problems with cyberbullying, Facebook depression, sexting, and exposure to inappropriate content. Considering all of the above pros and cons, it is necessary to develop certain regulations over the use of such social networking sites, especially for senior high school. But still, students should get the choice to spend time socializing in an effective way. It should not hamper their school performance, and it should be kept in mind that social networking sites create virtual worlds that drastically differ from reality. Students should develop the cognitive and intuitive ability to analyze how much time they want to spend on social media. It is left up to the students to decide what really matters in their lives and how much of this virtual life translates to real life. Giving and reminding students about this topic might help them from controlling their use of social media. Remember, this is just a sample from a fellow student. This is not an example of the work written by professional essay writers. Professionals in writing essays and all other types of written work are adidapaper.com, link under the video.